So I've got all my ingredients here. I'm ready to take on the challenge. <sighs> the Eat What You Watch challenge by binging with Babish. And uh, I'm making the soup from Twilight Princess Yeto's Superb Soup, which is based on pumpkin. Uh, this is not a pumpkin, I'm gonna explain later why I choose this squash instead. Some goat's cheese, so I'm using goat's cheese. A bit different than the one in the game, obviously. And fish. Now, the fish used in the game does not exist in real life, so I had to improvise. And uh, everything will be explained while I am cooking. Right now I'm gonna ready my utensils and all that. And post this pic on Instagram, because it looks nice. So the first thing to do is to roast the squash, so uh, I'm gonna have to cut it open and uh, slice it. And uh, yeah, for a uh, foreword uh, about the, um, the squash. Uh, the recipe in the game calls for, for pumpkin. Um, Orden pumpkin from the Twilight Princess universe, from, the, from Hyrule, of course. Uh, so uh, I don't know how it is related to our pumpkin. But uh, first thing first, pumpkin is hard to find here in Europe. And second, I'm not a fan of pumpkin, I don't really like it. I think it looks fine for carving, but uh, for taste, not my thing, really. Uh, I like it in pumpkin pie, because I think it works uh, with sugar, but we, with savory meals, I, I'm really not a fan of pumpkin. So I'm gonna use this squash called the Red Curry Squash, which uh, is a my favorite squash. And it tastes uh, a bit of chestnut, and I fucking love chestnut, and I think it will really work really well for uh, this uh, recipe. And also, uh, coincidentally, uh, this squash is really popular in two parts of the world, in Japan, where Zelda was made, and in France, where I'm making this video. So, uh, 10 out of 10, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this up and slice it and uh, prepare it for roasting. So obviously I've cut everything into little triangles to remind of the Triforce of the game. And I hope you don't think that's too cheesy, because if you think that's too cheesy, then the soup is gonna be really too cheesy for you. I've put it on a sheet of cooking paper, on a grill, had to put them close to each other because I have a damn small oven, but it should be fine, drizzle them with a tiny bit of olive oil and uh, some cracked black pepper and other spices, my favorite spice mix, which I'm sure that Babish would disapprove because it has got some coriander in it, but I absolutely love it, so that's what I used. And uh, yeah, nutmeg, which absolutely will make this shine. I'm convinced of it, so it's gonna go in the oven at 200 degrees, no idea how much that is in Fahrenheit, but I'm gonna put it uh, on screen using the magic of editing. And um, yeah, for about half an hour. About half an hour, because we want it not too hard, not too soft, just like in that uh, Boys to Men song. Because it's gonna be used for the soup, so I don't want it to be fully cooked, because it's gonna, it's gonna be in the broth for a while, so not too hard, not too soft. 200 degrees Celsius. Half an hour should be perfect. Meanwhile, I'm taking my carrots and uh, onions, little cute small onions, aren't they adorable? And uh, I'm gonna cut them up real fine. I mean, not too, not not too fine, just the right amount. Let's be, let's be reasonable. So we've uh, done it. I've cut up the carrots and the cute little onions in uh, small but not too small pieces. A lot of preparing this recipe has been, you know, dilemmas and inner turmoil. What do I put in it? What don't I put in it? When you arrive at uh, Yeto's mansion, he's already preparing the soup, so you have missed all the crucial first steps. But what you can clearly see is carrots. So those things are floating 
uh, above the broth so I'm definitely including carrots and onions feel like a logical choice just like my buddy the ginger and garlic I'm putting the whole head of garlic because uh, I think it's gonna be necessary and uh, yeah basil uh, I think basil will work really well I uh, originally I wanted to include Thai basil the, the, the Thailand version of basil that's quite different but I couldn't find any so I, I picked this one which is really uh, that's the superb element of the superb soup it's uh, I paid like 10 literally 10 times the price of regular basil for this it's like organic I bought it straight from the producer it's uh, amazing uh, I'm gonna take these uh, carrots and onions and put them in a big pan with a bit of olive oil and a bit of butter and I'm gonna let them you know I'm gonna prepare my my soup base my broth base uh, with uh, these you hear that it's raining outside told you it was a perfect weather for this fucking soup it's been raining on and off all day I'm so glad I'm making this soup. So, the onions and carrots are simmering in our butter and olive oil. No need to put a lot of herbs or spices or so anything at, at all actually. Because the broth base will be fish broth. Uh, it says... Because it says in the game uh, that it smells a lot of fish and that it's, uh, it's fish broth. So... Uh, what I'm gonna use is this very Japanese bonito dashi, which is basically a fish fish broth. That that's what it is. And uh, when the when the onions uh, and carrots uh, have browned a bit or become a bit translucent, I'm gonna use uh, the bonito dashi with a lot of uh, hot water, and that's gonna be our real soup base slash broth slash amazing slurpy food. Meanwhile, the squash is doing its thing in the oven and uh, as I could have predicted, half an hour wasn't nearly enough, so uh, it has been there for 40 minutes so far and it's still not really done, so I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it for like, yeah, five more minutes, maybe 10. Gonna report on that soon. So it has been 20 minutes now and it's looking pretty damn good, so I'm gonna use the dashi and the hot water right now. So the squash is right out of the oven after staying there for a total of 50 minutes and it's looking perfect, just right. So I'm gonna add it to the soup uh, pretty soon. Uh, talking about the soup, well I have put about two liters of water in there with uh, one teaspoon of bonito dashi. Dashi is really flavorful, so you really don't to use a lot of it. For the cheese, uh, the game only specifies that it's goat cheese, so uh, after much thought and dilemmas and uh, angst, I've decided to use this classic fresh goat cheese uh, instead of the weird donut-shaped cheese, white and yellow, that they use in the game. And so uh, I, I really couldn't find anything that would have really worked in a soup except this one. So what I'm gonna do to create the illusion that there are two cheeses, because I think that in the game the fact that it's striped yellow and, and uh, white indicates that there are two cheeses or maybe uh, two different kind of maturation of the same cheese. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add half of the cheese right now and the other half uh, at the, the end, uh, at the, the, the last moment. So, uh, adding cheese right now. One of the most important ingredients in this recipe is the fish. Now, this one was a bit hard too because in the game they use rig fish with, which does not exist in real life but they based the image on uh, salmon 
so it was pretty obvious choice to use smoked salmon and since the rig fish is very pungent hence its name uh, I choose a, a, a really heavily smoked salmon that really smells like smoke and wood and it feels like I'm camping outside and the smell is amazing and a personal pick that was not prompted by the game recipe but I thought would go really well with the other ingredients is smoked haddock also really heavily smoked and smells a lot of burnt wood and that is amazing it, it feels like I'm, I'm at a campfire and that is so perfect so the soup is really coming together the cheese the first half of the cheese is totally melted in here yeah, as you can see it's simmering so uh, I'm adding a bit I'm adding a bit of uh, smoked salmon in the mix like about half of it and uh, yeah about half of the haddock let's put the whole squash in there so let's mix all that with a spoon so I just added the rest of the fish plus a nice amount of freshly grated ginger it's really coming together and almost finished and it smells amazing meanwhile I've just cut up the garlic in those big large chunks so it stays alive as much as possible during the cooking and I'm gonna add it right now we are near the end so remember when you are adding garlic to anything that you're cooking you should try to add it as last minute as possible so it uh, so it keeps as much flavor and texture as possible I just put the rest of the cheese in there and also the basil as you can see it should be ready in a couple of minutes now we are almost at the end now only two more ingredients to add salt here's some salt and uh, cream I just added a shitload of it because the soup was not thick not quite thick enough and it should make it perfect so it's about ready to be served right now I'm gonna fetch the bowls and work the magic and you've got it right there you've got it right here right there I think it looks pretty similar to the soup in the game and it smells so good you've got everything in there you've got the cheese you've got the fish got the pumpkin which is actually a squash but even better in my opinion and uh, you've got this wood burning smell that makes you feel like you are at a campfire which is absolutely amazing and uh, yeah I'm gonna try and taste it now and uh, tell you how it was and the answer is it was indeed superb uh, and yeah, but personally I added a, a crouton uh, when I ate it, I thought it improved the soup a lot, maybe it was because I put a bit too much water in it, but yeah, I, I, I thought it was really improved by uh, the addition of croutons, I don't know if Yeto uh, would have approved, but uh, yeah, garlicky or cheesy croutons would be absolutely perfect to use with that soup, which was super, I would totally do it again, it was, it was a success. You can like and subscribe now.